What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to show you how you can connect your Canon T6i DSLR or it's also called a 750D directly to your TV using the HDMI port. Now if you look on your T6i here, you can see that it says a HDMI out right here. This is a mini HDMI, okay? So basically what you need to do is get a cable that has one end is a mini H HDMI like this, and the other end is a regular standard HDMI size. And I'll put the links below for this. And you can see the difference between the two. This, will, this mini part will connect into your camera, and this part will connect to the back of your TV or monitor. Also, what you can do too, if you already have a HDMI cable, basically if you have an HDMI cable like a standard HDMI cable where they're both the same size. You can buy one of these adapters here. This is like a HDMI mini adapter. Plug that into there and plug that into the TV. I'll put a link below where you can get this too. I got them both on all these cables from Amazon. So we're gonna go ahead and connect this and I'm also gonna go over some um, issues where it's not showing no signal, okay? Because I had a lot of issues. I couldn't connect my camera to my TV at first. And, I, and then it was finally resolved. So I already hooked up my HDMI cable to the back. And the cable that I'm gonna be using is the one that has the HDMI, the mini HDMI. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug that in here. And this TV here is actually the first time I'll be hooking this camera up to this TV. Okay, so we have it in right now. And then I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this camera on. And now I'm gonna grab my remote. So here's my remote, then I'm going to click on source here. Yours might say input on your uh, remote. We want to go to the correct HDMI port. So let me go there and it's probably HDMI 3. Go there and press on enter. Oops, that screen mirroring, hold on. Where did, where did it go? Okay, let me make sure my camera's on again. And now let me go back to source. Okay, HDMI 3, enter, give it a second. Hopefully we're in business right away. Excellent, okay, we are in business right now. Let me go ahead and pop on the viewfinder here. And why don't we do this? Let's, so you can see everything is in live view right now. Go all the way over. And let me just flip this viewfinder like this, okay. Now you can see nothing's on the viewfinder here. Uh, let's do this now. Let's go ahead and take some photos, okay? So let me just take a photo right here. Right there, let me take another photo and move over here. Take another photo of this. And let me show you the photos and then we're gonna go over video, okay? So let me go back in the view of the pictures here and you can see the photos here that I just took. Here's some other photos that I took. Also, we can still do is we can still zoom in using the viewfinder, even though it's a black screen. You can see, we can pinch it like that. We can even go smaller, and then we can see all of the other photos as well. And if I wanted to pick one, I can kind of guess where it's at. Uh, let me see. Okay, maybe not. I got to use the uh, actual uh, buttons here. But if I wanted to go here, I simply look in there, and I can go ahead and stroll. I can zoom in and zoom out. So let's do this now. Let's go ahead and record a video. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go on top of my dialer here, right here, and I'm gonna put on video mode, okay? So let me go ahead and just focus in on here so you can see, and I'm gonna pop this up to video right there. And let me put this back down. And now we are in video mode. Let me uh, zoom in here. Okay, so now what happens when we record a video? Well, let's go ahead and record a video and I'm gonna continue talking. Okay, now it's uh, recording video. And of course you can tell because you can see the red dots on the top right over there and you can see the seconds moving on the TV. And I'm still talking here now because what I wanna do is I wanna stop the video now and then I wanna do a playback and I also wanna see where the audio is if the audio is going to be coming from my TV. 
So I just stopped the video. So let's go back into here and let's find that video. Okay, I think this is the video. Okay, so I'm gonna simply press on set here and then it's already on play. You can see right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and press on that. Stop the video now. Okay, pretty cool. So you can clearly hear that the audio was coming from the TV as well. Now, here's the thing. If you guys are still, if you're using these um, HDMI cable and you're not able to um, connect, maybe you're going to, it's going to say like no signal and stuff like that. I'm going to show you what you can do to hopefully resolve that because I couldn't connect for like three days. And let me do this, okay? So let me show you. There's, there's two things that I did, okay? First of all, let me put my camera back on here. The first thing is you cannot have Wi-Fi on, okay? Oh, and another thing is too, is when we do this, what we wanna do is we wanna go to the dialer and we wanna make sure that it is on manual, okay? M for manual, right there. This way it gives us all the options and functions on here, okay? So now if I press on menu here and I go down here, you want to make sure you have Wi-Fi slash NFC, make sure it is disabled. Okay, uh, let me just zoom in here so you can kind of see this better. Make sure that this is disabled. Uh, also, another thing is, and when I disabled this, I still had issues. What I ended up having to do was go all the way over here to the last uh, wrench here, and I go down to here where it says clear settings. I tap on that, and basically what I did here was I clear all camera settings, and I also clear all custom settings or custom functions. And this basically uh, puts, every, puts this camera, everything back into factory default as if I just took it out of the box. And once I did that, I plugged in my HDMI and finally I was able to um, view my camera uh, to my TV. Basically it was mirrored and that was the issue that I had. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or uh, wanna know how to do more things on this, um, on this camera, just like let me know. And I did do a video how to hook up your Android phone or your iPhone uh, to the camera using the Wi-Fi NFC as well. I'll put that link below. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.